Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 53-year-old male who fell a week ago while hiking, has pain in the back of his thigh, and they're worried about a hamstring injury. And he certainly does have a hamstring injury. So this is a coronal view. This is the left back of the thigh. These are the hamstring muscles in back. This is the right side that's abnormal. We can see that there's lots of brightness here. And this is a muscle tear. Now the hamstrings have three muscles. We can see them much better on an axial view like this. And to look at this view, we're going to get oriented by going down into this area. This yellow line is where this one is. We're going to get down in here and look and see what we see. So these are the extensor tendons that help you kick your leg outwards. These are the adductor tendons along the medial side that help you pull your leg towards your body. And these are the hamstring tendons in back here. And they help lift the uh, heel up towards the uh, buttocks. So on this view, we're going to look and see the problem, which is right here. There's lots of edema in this muscle. And this another view here, it's going to stand out a lot better. In this view, we can see there's brightness right here. And it comes down into the mid-thigh. We see lots of um, abnormal signal as we go through this tear. So now we're going to characterize the tear and find out a couple things. Number one, which muscle is this? And is it a low-grade tear, intermediate, or high-grade tear? And so first is to look at the the muscle or muscles involved. There's three hamstring tendons. And the one towards the front here, this is the semimembranosus, where it attaches to a bone. This is part of the pelvic ring. This is the ischial tuberosity. And the semimembranosus, it goes most medial, but it starts here more lateral. And this other one right there, it looks like there's one, but these are two next to each other, kind of blended together. This is the semitendinosus and biceps together. But we can see that there's a partial tear at the origin of the semimembranosus, that little bright signal. It's not completely torn, but a little bit of brightness, a little partial tear, strain. As we come down further, this is the semimembranosus. We're gonna follow that down. There's the black tendon. And we get into this, and we can see that that is the one that's involved. The other two are right here, one, two. The biceps, if we come down further, is most lateral. This is the semitendinosus here. This is going to end kind of high and turn into a tendon. There's that tendon there. And here we go. This is the semimembranosus. This is a good example of where these three are and how sometimes it can be hard to tell them apart um, when they're especially up here and they look like they're just one muscle. But if we get down here further, there's some fluid tracking around them. And we can see one, two, three. Semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps. And again, the, the semimembranosus is the one that is torn. Now to characterize, as I said, mild tear, severe tear, we can see that the central tendon is not intact. It comes down, there's a central tendon. It's lax, and it looks like it is uh, not continuous right here, so it looks like it's completely torn in this area. If we look on this view, this is the muscle more distal. It comes up here, there's a black line that's the central tendon. It's wavy and discontinuous right here. So this is what we call a high grade muscle tear. This is, uh, it has a very hard time healing because that central tendon is not there to uh, keep it taut. And um, so probably just atrophy and scar down. Um, but this is what we call high grade tear. Sometimes you can have tears that the central tendon's intact. There's lots of edema in the muscles and be more of a grade two tear. And then sometimes patients have just a really mild tear where there's edema in the muscles, but the central tendon's perfectly intact. And uh, those heal pretty quickly. But this is a grade three or high grade tear that involves a central tendon, which is lax and lots of edema in the semimembranosus muscle. Thankfully, these other two components are intact. And again, hopefully, this will scar. And uh, that's it. So, thank you very much. A little anatomy of the hamstring tendons, the semimembranosus. It's most medial over right here in the thigh, but starts most lateral up high. And then we have in the middle the semitendinosus and laterally the biceps that goes out to the lateral side. Thank you very much.